This is a series where I'll be raiding every jailbreak vehicle and giving them a report card mark. The Black Hawk or Army Heli is a $1 million vehicle that spawns in a 1M dealership and military base. It's usually put up with the Volt and Drone as the best 1M vehicle. The Black Hawk, however, has always been so revered since its release. Out of all heli styled vehicles in the game, the Black Hawk is the best in most aspects. Top speed, maximum altitude, seating capacity, etc. It even features missiles that are better than the agent. Just last year, it received a model revamp by Ufed, and it looks incredible. I do wish the doors had closing animations, but that's a nitpick. It can withstand the most hits from the cargo ship, so it's also pretty good for that robbery. The power I felt when I first unlocked the army heli was unreal. It's simply reliable and amazing to use. I think it deserves a grand total of 98, which makes it the first vehicle to get an A+. I'm rating every jailbreak vehicle and giving them a report card mark. The Block Z, or as I prefer to call it by its original name, the Tendika, is a Lego car and the grand prize for Season 11 Toys and Collectibles. Small Modeled by SharkyCat109, it looks pretty faithful to its IRL LEGO counterpart. It's got the studs, the blocky look, and pretty much everything. The interior doesn't have much detail, but let's be honest, it doesn't need any. Stats-wise, it's in the mid-tier of seasonal vehicles, but one thing to point out is that it has really good handling. It used to be pretty janky, but then someone tuned it, and now it's probably one of the best handling cars in the entire game. But other than that, there's nothing noteworthy or particularly outstanding about the Bloxy. It's definitely a cool collectible as it's meant to be. <laughs> this is another one of those vehicles that aren't really practical to use, but fun to zip around in. Have I said that before? Hmm, no. It gets an 83 and it's a 10 bajillion speed. I'm rating every jailbreak vehicle and giving them a report card mark. Mike Tyson is a famous American boxer that was born in June 30th, 19. What? Yeah, he's from the boxer. No. Not this boxer. Oh. Sorry about the mix-up, the Boxer is a $55,000 convertible that spawns outside one of the museum exits. It looks pretty alright since it was made in 2020, but an interesting thing about it is that it has a toggleable convertible roof. Spawning right by one of the museum doors, it is pretty useful as a getaway vehicle. Stats-wise, it's actually pretty similar to another museum getaway vehicle, the Badger. The Boxer is just a tad bit faster and a tad bit more expensive. I'll let you decide which one is better because both are pretty mediocre to me. Which is why I'm giving it the exact same score as the Badger, a 75, a B-. I'm rating every jailbreak vehicle and giving them a report card mark. The Aperture? The Aperture, or Chimera, was a limited time vehicle that was on sale for a week for $899,000. I'll be straight with you, I don't like how this vehicle looks. No disrespect to the modular stealth, this looks really faithful to its IRL counterpart. It is the IRL counterpart that I don't like. It's based on the Apollo Project EVO, and I never quite understood the design behind it. But looks aside, I have to say, this vehicle has really good stats. It excels in top speed, reverse speed, acceleration, handling, off-roading, everything. It's not the best in those aspects, but they certainly do not miss. Some people say that the Aperture is the best vehicle in the game, which I don't agree with, but it is great to use and it has grown on me a lot since its release. But before I dislike this vehicle again, just to be steady, I'll give it a 96 now, which is a great A grade. I'm rating every jailbreak vehicle and giving them a report card mark. The Power One is the grand prize for the ongoing Season 17 Traveling Europe. It was modeled by Ufed and is based on the McLaren P1. Oh my gosh, I love this car so much. Just look at it. If this is not peak jailbreak creation, then I really look forward to what is to come. And this vehicle's stats are equally amazing. It can reach almost 240 MPH with great acceleration, great handling, great off-roading, etc. It's as great as most other hypercars and McLarens in the game. And not to mention, it has butterfly doors and a unique engine sound effect. I really don't have much to say. The Power One is just an amazing vehicle that I absolutely adore. Reason C bias? Probably. But for now, I don't care. It gets a 98. An A+. I'm rating every jailbreak vehicle and giving them a report card mark. The Fiasco is a vehicle exclusive to common saves and players have a 2.5% chance of rolling to it. It's based on the Fiat 500, a very cute car. 
and it's surprisingly good to use. Now sure, its top speed is kind of low at around 120 mph, and the reverse speed is lower than a math score in Hong Kong. But the rest of its stats are pretty good for a city car, and its launch is insane. This nimble car is actually very practical. I mean, how often do you see a vehicle with low top speed do so well in power plant runs? However, you only have a 2.5% chance of getting this in common saves. Excluding the daily free saves, on average you would have to spend 200k to get it. Most vehicles with the same price or cheaper have better stats. So if you're just starting out and don't have money to spare, don't go for this. It's a good car to use, but the price makes me doubt it a bit, so I'll give it a 79, a B-. minus. I'm rating every jailbreak vehicle and giving them a report card mark. The Bruley or OG Bugatti is a now retired hypercar that used to cost $500,000. Given that its top speed is the highest out of any car in the game, I'm giving it 100. The highest grade that will ever- Did you really think I was gonna do that? Sure, it has a top speed of 408 mph, but realistically, on the map, you'd reach 200, maybe 300 on this mush that looks 7.3% maximum accurate to its original counterpart. And its handling is also slippery for no reason. However, not only is the Brulee's top speed unmatched, its reverse speed is also phenomenal. For the longest time, this was the best car in the game, but with the addition of better hypercars, year by year, its glory is slowly fading away. It pains me to give it an 87 or a B+. But it's only fair. I'm rating every jailbreak vehicle and giving them a report card mark. Today is the first day of the 2023 5 Days of Vehicles event and we have a revamped stunt plane. With a new model by Zhu, this aerobatic plane received a plethora of buffs and new features, but also a price increase from 200k to 300k. It now also spawns at the Crater City Airport in addition to the Bounty Bay Airport. Its top speed increased from 135 to 172 mph and now accelerates even quicker. Machine guns are now equipped on a plane, which, while difficult to aim with, are automatics, which means they have a rapid firing rate and can deal up to 20 damage per hit. The stunt was a fine vehicle and these buffs make it even better, but there's still a plane at its core which not many players find practical. And the sitting posture does not sit well with me. The stunt is a great vehicle and I see the revamp as a well-deserved upgrade, so I'm giving it an 88, which is a B+. I'm rating every jailbreak vehicle and giving them a report card mark. Bit late, I'm sorry, but forgive me, cause I'm cool. The second day of the 2023 5 Days of Vehicles event gave us the Laviolette, modeled by Zeyatsu. Again, you have a 2.5% chance of getting this in a street safe. This is the first Cadillac and the first vehicle in the game to feature a low riding effect. It also has cool animated windows, but I don't think anyone realized that. While this car doesn't have the best stats, it doesn't have to, it's a Cadillac. After all, the main selling point of this car is the low riding effect. It really reminds me of those um, action movies I used to watch a few years back. It, it was so cool. Similar to the fiasco, if you own all the useful and essential vehicles for grinding, go ahead and gamble on this. It's worth it. It's such a fun car. But otherwise, I'd think twice before spending all my money on street safes for this. Like I said, it's not a useful vehicle to use, but the fun factor is enough for me to give it an 85, which is a B+. I'm rating every jailbreak vehicle and giving them a report card mark. The successor was added on day 3 of this year's 5 days of vehicles event. It spawns outside the mansion and is available for 649,000. It's based on the Ford GT and was modeled by its Truminator. You know, I thought vehicles like the Power One, the Javelin, the Beignet, or the Aperture were the epitome of jailbreak car performance, but this made me doubt myself again. Top speed caps at around 258 mph, which is just slightly slower than the Eclair, and acceleration is only slightly worse than the Roadster. This says a lot about this vehicle's performance, and the two vehicles I mentioned just now might have some competition. And it's about time too, it's been 3 years since the two of these vehicles had beef. I'm not too over the top when it comes to its looks, but I do dig it. And the animated wing and starting engine sound effect are also welcome features. My marking scheme standards might be too low, I don't know, you guys let me know, but until I change up everything, a 96 or an A grade seems appropriate.
so faceless.